Odessa police have been looking for a homeless veteran for three years. It was this month, back in 2016, that Richard Neria's nephew reported him missing. There are still a lot of questions surrounding his case, including questions about a convicted murderer who lived nearby. Either way, his family and friends are still holding out hope that someone knows something. That's that's one of my wishes. Uh, all the family. That's 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 what we want. We want closure. It's been three years since Richard Naria went missing. A veteran who served our country. My uncle was a very intelligent man. He was in the uh, he was in Navy for a short stint. He was loved by everybody. He he he'd uh, he'd give a shirt off his back to anybody. Raul Franco is Naria's nephew and the same person who reported him missing. Naria would now be 80 years old. He's described as a Hispanic man about 5 foot 4, 116 pounds with brown eyes and gray hair. He had uh, a surgery on his nose because he had cancer. Mm -hmm. So his distinguished uh, mark was uh, that he, he didn't have a nose. He was just a quiet man. He was, he was, he was kind and, uh, and always told, said thank you. The Salvation Army in Odessa was where he was last seen on April 25th of 2016. He came here a few times a week to have dinner. And I always wonder what happened to him. Investigation revealed that Neri also uh, travels back and forth between Odessa and El Paso. So there's a, a possibility that he could be in, at either location. Franco confirms Naria has family in El Paso as well. The Odessa resident shared with us his notes. He's been conducting his own investigation of sorts for years. We have now shared that information with police. But family and friends also say Naria was terrified of a woman. He was scared for his life, actually. He was really afraid of this girl. Yeah. He was afraid, he was afraid this girl was going to try to hurt him one day. And I think that may be uh, a, one of the worst case scenarios I've put together in my head. Family and friends can't confirm the identity of that woman. It's only hearsay of who she is. However, here's what we do know and can confirm. At one time, Naria lived on the 1300 block of East 4th Street in Odessa. Again, he was last seen in April of 2016. Down the street, a gruesome murder took place a couple of months later in June at the home of Audrey Montgomery. Montgomery and this man, Lacey Taylor, were convicted in the shooting death of 55-year-old Fred Robinson Jr. Authorities say Montgomery killed him with a 12-gauge shotgun at her home. Robinson's body was then found burned at Taylor's shop. That's where police found Robinson's bones and torso burned in a barrel. According to previous arrest records, Montgomery and Taylor combined had 31 prior arrests just in Ector County. Some of the previous arrests include delivery of heroin and prostitution. Meanwhile, the Odessa Police Department says no person or people of interest have been identified in this case. They're also in the process of collecting DNA from the family. We know the outcome is not very good. The, the odds are stacked against us right now, but... It would be nice to know, um, uh, put him to rest. Um, he deserved that. We knocked on numerous doors in Naria's former neighborhood and talked with several neighbors. One in particular, Nude Naria and Montgomery, and doesn't believe there's a connection to Naria's disappearance. We also tried talking to Montgomery in prison. However, she denied our request. This story is all part of our digital special next Thursday. Stories of missing persons all over the state. They'll be shared on our website, yourbasin.com.